I think, going into start of the uh, second lap. And, uh, you know, uh, Rebecca got into that first fly where Rebecca was first, while well, I was second wheel. Something happened behind us. I know um, Emily Buddy was with us for a while, but Rebecca was setting such a hot pace that Emily got tagged off, and uh, we just didn't see the rest of the girls after that. So, you know, it's probably about, um, you know, an hour 20 into the race, and then it was Rebecca and I by ourselves. I know you're rocking a single chain ring with a real big, you know, differential in the back is what you can use. But coming onto the track, all of a sudden, were you worried about being undergeared with just a little chain ring up front? Yeah, definitely. I noticed that when Rebecca and I were away together that she had a double, and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Already my sprint's not the best, but, uh, you know, I, I think uh, it was able to get away on the, the last climb. Uh, coming into the last climb, it was kind of hard to Pushing each other so hard and really great. Tell me a little bit about like, this cause, this dust. It, it, you know, in the range of your whole season, this is one of the hottest early season races you've faced. Tire selection is difficult. Just tell me about how the bike was running. Yeah, it's funny actually, this race is cool compared to the other early season races we did in Vanelli and Montana. But, um, yeah, no, it was, it was actually really great conditions out there. What makes the other unique is that it's a well over two hour race, so we're used to racing for an hour and a half, and you can pin it pretty good for that. Um, you know, with a two and a half hour race, there's um, a lot of pacing that has to go on and, uh, and really calculating those. Tell me about the prestige of this race. Obviously, you're here, Nino Scherner's here. We talked about Ken L. Evans lining up with the Grand Fondo. Just the prestige of Sea Otter and how important it is to the Luna team. Yeah, you know, uh, Sea Otter is such a cool event because you come here and I just see so many kids out doing wheelies on their bikes and it just it shows you how healthy and, and thriving that the, the cycling community is. And, you know, uh, Cliff Bar has been a, a, a long time sponsor of this event. Luna's always here. We're always uh, having a party and it's a chance for us to see our sponsors and, uh, you know, to, to put on a good show for all the, the people that support us and all the fans. And so, yeah, it's just a, it's a awesome community event. Great. Congrats. Good to have the Rainbow Strikes. Bruce and Uncle Place. Nice to go. There she is. Happy Penrell.